All right, hi Aquarius, this is gonna be your reading. This is for Aquarius placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Happy September and happy new moon in Virgo today too. Today's Monday <laughs> when I'm recording these. All right, Aquarius. So what do you guys need to know right now? What do Aquarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know? Or first launcher, what do they need to know? to know so we have change okay period a lot of you guys could be moving or you could be changing locations with something or changing how you do things something is changing or change is coming towards you okay you guys may not see the you may not see this or you may not see the potential in something or someone but uh, we'll see what this is let's see what else We have leadership. Yeah, some of you guys are coming into a position of leadership here. This could be with your job or you're meant to be leaders. You could be meant to be your own boss. What else for some of you? Or you're meant to rise up in the company. And we have um, embracing. There's something that you need to embrace, Aquarius, that you're not. Okay, and we, that's going to bring you a lot of freedom and community. And some of you guys are meant to be like teachers with the wisdom here. You can have a lot of wisdom. Okay, some of you guys could, somebody can have a tattoo of a fish, a koi fish or something, a butterfly, bird, or those animals can be significant to you. Yeah, a lot of you guys are regaining your freedom from something. <clears throat> it could be a way of living, a way of thinking. So no, today's the holiday. Nova's home from daycare. She's home from school. So, you know, <clears throat> you may hear her in the background. I may have to tend to her. I'm trying to make this quick. <laughs> What's change here? Yeah, the temperance. So something, this change could be happening by, uh, I was going to say Aquarius season, but this is Sagittarius. So anywhere between now and maybe your season. So anywhere between November and February, but this could be happening. Something could be the start of some type of change, maybe regarding your work, could be happening uh, in Sagittarius season, November, uh, December. Or Sagittarius could be coming into your life, or you could be dealing with one, or something could be changing with the Sag, or you have Sag in your chart. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Some of y'all, if y'all working two jobs, you could be putting an end to one. Or you could be deciding to go full force. You'll be able to go full force in like your side hustle or a hobby of yours. It'll start to make you money where you'll be able to leave your nine to five. For those of you who care to, not everybody does. For those of you who's not about that, this could be you guys rising to the top. Or you guys could just be changing departments, changing jobs. Because maybe you want more sense of leadership. And you're not getting that where you're at. Okay? What's change? Okay, the death card, Scorpio energy, something is changing, something is ending. Scorpio energy, so Scorpio season, okay, or you or somebody can have Scorpio in your chart. I feel like you guys are going down the right path with something, with this temperance here. Take your, you could be feeling frustrated, you could, but this could be because you guys are overthinking something. You could, you guys are being rerouted. Some of y'all are, you need to go in a different direction. There could be a change of plans or whatever is ending, whatever or whoever is leaving your life, it's supposed to. Whatever is not growing or you don't really see no growth or your, your investment is not paying off in something, it's because you're meant to change course or you're meant to do it in a different way or leave it all together. Relationship, person, place, or thing. What's temperance? Friendships. Yeah, eight of wands. Something is, something is coming in fast or someone you're going to be receiving something aquarius this could be money a payout a gift or you could be wanting to give this to somebody or this could be something that you're gifted at that you're good at doing that you need to seize an opportunity for you got to get out your head when it comes to something eight of wands here mercury and sag Something is growing. It's growing steadily. It's, it's growing slow, but it's going to be steady at the same time. What's, up? What's this eight of wands? Okay, five of pentacles. So I don't know if some of you or somebody here could be healing rapidly from something or something could be 
Mercury and Taurus. That's like some type of that. This could be a scarcity mindset or a loss. I don't know. Some of you guys took a loss here and you could be trying to recover or bounce back from it. It could be financial. It could be physical. Or this is someone around you. What's this? Hopefully nobody's losing someone here. What's this five of pentacles? Okay, the strength card and the sun, period. So whatever you lost, like I said, whatever you lost, Aquarius, is gonna be is gonna be restored. Five of Pentacles to the ten, please, bitch. Anyways, don't be afraid to let whatever whoever go, <laughs> please. <clears throat> strength card, heavy strength and sun here, heavy Leo energy. So you or someone can have Leo in their chart. Leo is your sister sign. You may want to go watch Leo's reading when it gets uploaded. It's usually fire signs get uploaded the day after air signs. So. I don't know if I'm putting these up today on the new moon or Tuesday, which will be tomorrow, but we'll see. I got to get ready for my run. We're going to see what time I finish this, what time I get out the shower. Uh, we going to see. Uh, heavy Leo energy here. Yeah, a lot of you guys are being resilient when it comes to, you're, you could be facing some type of change. You may not see this coming, and it could be putting you in your head. It could be making you feel scared, burdened like you're lacking something maybe you got to make fast and quick changes or these changes are happening fast something is happening fast and you're going to have to maintain your equilibrium with that temperance you're going to have to maintain your resilience and your optimism whatever is happening right now Aquarius maintain your optimism okay strength and sun and your resilience strength and sun yeah, six of swords. Somebody here, there's some type of transition. You're going through some type of transitional phase here or somebody else is transitioning. Again, my condolences for some of you and for others of you. This could be just you guys changing your, your, your being guided somewhere else or to something or someone else where you're going to be celebrated, something that's you, but you're overthinking it. Six of swords here. Some of you guys feel overlooked or you felt overlooked or you don't feel seen. Like I said, go watch your last reading, not your bonus reading, the one before your bonus. The best, you, you're going to be the first or the best to ever fucking do it, period. Don't, y'all, yeah, listen, y'all ask for something. See, people be so, people be like, we ask for things and then with the things we currently have for get taken away, we be like, oh my God. Like when we, we're married or, we're, or, or when we're with certain people or we're at certain jobs or we're living a certain lifestyle and we're like oh god or universe i want this which is the complete opposite of what we have and then what and then when what we have gets stripped away we're like wait no 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 it's like wait but you asked for something that was already opposite so you're gonna have to make a deal and a sacrifice with the universe that's the that's that's the deal here you gotta you gotta you gotta come up off of something and get something else some of y'all are being guided into a new direction what's the death card the death card the high priestess the hermit and the two of cups this could be about a connection some of y'all got new love coming in or so there could be something about it somebody here could be getting pregnant or there's a um, confirmation or information about a pregnancy and that's going to help you leave somebody behind for some of you what's the death card yeah ten of wands with the two of wands in reverse saturn and sagittarius Somebody here could be sick or they're in despair about something. I don't know, maybe something is coming out about somebody or something about their, who they are, whatever is being exposed in due time or something. But that eight of wands, some, there could be a, a move or change of location or something that's just changing. I don't, something is ending. Two of wands in reverse, Mars and Aries. Y'all could feel like you're out of options. This could be you guys just feeling like really hopeless though. I don't know if you're feeling hopeless about something. Who did I tell this to? Leo in their bonus reading? I forgot. But bad news doesn't mean the end of something. Bad news can simply be a redirection. A temporary no doesn't have doesn't mean it's permanent either. What's this ten of wands with the two of wands in the rest? Yeah, two of pentacles. Jupiter and Capricorn. So something that could, something about your finances could be fluctuated. Some of y'all feel like you're at a stalemate or you could feel burdened and weighed down because maybe you have a lot on your plate. You're going to have to scrape something. You're going to have to make a sacrifice. You're going to have to let go or put one thing down to fully commit or pick something else up. 
and maybe you don't know how to do it or when to do it or where or how y'all could be indecisive about something you keep going back and forth and the reason why y'all are really going back and forth is because you want y'all want to have it both somebody wants to have something both ways Ain't nothing wrong with this change. Ain't nothing even really scary about this change. The problem is somebody wants to keep two, two things going. Somebody wants to serve two masters. That's the problem. Two of pentacles. And that can't, that can't be. Yeah, that magician in reverse, Virgo, Gemini energy. You or somebody can have Virgo or Gemini in a chart. <clears throat> yeah, ain't no lack of clarity or nothing. For some of you guys, this indecision is coming from you guys not really believing in your full potential y'all are questioning your abilities some y'all could need professional help with something or some type of aid or assistance or you could need to delegate tasks magician in reverse yeah okay ten of swords here gemini sun energy and then the empress in reverse taurus libra y'all could be seeing ten ten Something could be happening to a mother figure. You could be at a distance from this mother figure. This is somebody else. There's something that's just, there's no growth in something. So you're going to have to change course or somebody is. I don't know if you guys are overthinking something. Yeah, page of, I mean, six of cups in reverse. For some of you guys, you could be discovering that something's been passed down onto you emotionally from a mother figure or something on your mother's side of the family. Or you could be realizing this about somebody else around you. There could be a woundedness when it comes to a mother figure or a mother energy that's at this somebody's sacral and their heart chakra. This can also be a lack of self-care. Maybe you guys haven't really made time to really pamper and take care of yourselves. You can have a lot on your plate or somebody trying to put a lot on your plate to make that. I don't know. What's this Empress in reverse? Yeah, four wands in reverse. Something about a family member. It could be something that you don't really see coming. For some, somebody here is going to end up losing something or someone. Again, my condolences unexpectedly, maybe in the f winter or fall. Or you could be, some of you guys have uprooted you, or somebody here could be leaving a mother figure <clears throat> behind. Somebody's putting, I, I feel like somebody is doing something abruptly, and somebody here is going to feel lost, like at, like, oh, you could be the one that's feeling lost. This could be someone in your community, in your neighborhood, somebody at your place of work. Or someone that you were married to or somebody was living with or married to or something like that. Yeah, somebody's not going to see some type of loss coming. Yeah, somebody, something, somebody's going to be left in the dark with something or you feel left in the dark. Yeah, somebody here could be married or there could be an unexpected or unplanned pregnancy. And somebody is the daddy. <laughs> and then this could be something that's shocking that somebody could be telling you or you could be finding out or you could be speaking up about but there could be a lack of support from a mother figure around you. Maybe you feel like you and this person, some of you guys bit your tongue a lot, having to live with somebody, or this is somebody else going through this. Something, Somebody here could be changing up their home, or somebody could be losing a home, or having to move upward, or something. There's instability somewhere. There's a lack of growth, and there's instability. Maybe somebody didn't want you to know this, but, or, yeah. What's leadership here? Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpio Sun energy. But again, if you're losing one thing, I feel like you're gaining something else, Aquarius. Like, y'all, come on. Leadership. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Pisces, Aquarius here. Somebody could be born in February. Uh, the star here, Aquarius. The full card, Aquarius. Yeah, the page of wands in reverse. So what is it? Are you guys in denial about something? You, you may, uh, Is there a fear that you have to face? Some of y'all are out of alignment. Y'all are not resting. Some of y'all are too much in your masculine energy. And something is ending for you to force you to kind of sit down so you can get back into receiving mode. A lot of you stepped out of that receiving mode, whether you're a man or a woman. 
Yeah, a lot of y'all, I don't know if somebody here could be feeling bored, hopeless, in despair. Somebody feels somebody feels like their options or freedom is restricted. Uh, okay, this could be a child acting out or somebody's just, somebody's inner child is being triggered. Six of Cups in reverse. There's like no, there's some lack of community support somewhere with this. And if you don't feel like you're being supported somewhere, then create your own lane, create your own support, create your own support group, or create your own thing. There's a lack of stability, a lack of inner harmony within a home or within somebody, within something. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, December, Capricorn, December, Sag energy. Something to do with the mother figure that you may need to make peace with or confront. Queen of Pentacles. You may have to tell this person how they made you feel. Or vice versa. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, three of Pentacles here. You may this could be somebody that you work with. Somebody here is not being a team player with you. You could be the mother of this person's child, or this could be the mother of your child. Or a co-worker. For the, everybody don't have kids. So for those of you that don't have kids, this could be a sibling, a co-worker, a neighbor, landlord, whoever. A manager, supervisor, teacher. Three of Pentacles here, Mars and Capricorn. It's like you're trying to get along with somebody, but I feel like somebody here is not really making that easy. She loves her. No, but you know, she, she's a girl who loves her dinosaurs and her cars. You give T. She loves T. Rex. Uh, in particular, uh, she and she, no, she she says she you know I love Aquarius so much because you guys are just so y'all are y'all are smart y'all are grinning right now <laughs> y'all are in a bad mood but I'm telling y'all about Nova so y'all grinning right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? The dinosaur is too funny. Um, she she like she likes girly things too, but she loves dinosaurs. She loves T Rex. And she loves ghosts. Like she's, I, I, I can't wait to, for Halloween. Last year she was only like, she was only one. Yeah, turning two, so she didn't really, think, you know, care for. It. But now, like, she's more aware. Every time, like, we turn the lights off, and she goes, "It's spooky." She goes, "She's like, she's like, where's the ghost? Where's the ghost?" <laughs> um, but with three of Pentacles, yeah, Will of Fortune. Some of y'all are coming, you're getting good news about your work or people wanting to work with you, purchase from you, collaborate with you. Maybe I were in the wrong environment. You were in the wrong field, the wrong department, working with the wrong person or people. Something is changing. You're getting good news. What's this with a fortune? Or y'all may have to come up with a, a good plan. You may have to go back to the drawing board for something. But it's going to work out either way. Will of fortune... Yeah, you're getting good news, Aquarius. For those of you, if you were struggling, this could be even about a child, a child's daycare or schooling or something like that. Maybe something's going on with their teacher or your supervisor, your teacher or boss or something, or family member. Maybe you're getting help with a child or you're getting help to fund or you're getting help with, you're getting some type of networking tips or people are connecting you with a particular person for some type of gift or I don't know something that you may want to put out there for work somebody here could be into music fashion design makeup what's this page of cups or there could be a mother figure or like I said you could be this child's mother somebody wants to apologize to you page of cups yeah, three of swords in reverse. Somebody wants to reconcile or get back on better terms with you. Something you could have had a falling out. This could even be with a friend. But this is, yeah. Some of y'all, somebody wants to, but they don't want to. See, this person, they kind of like to, let's just, somebody here, I don't know if their way of getting over things is to just brush it under the rug or act like it never happened, man or woman. And for some of you guys, maybe in the past you went along with this because you could have had some, some woundedness around your self-worth. And you didn't want to, you, you, you felt like you just wanted to belong somewhere so you could have accepted certain things without realizing that was the reason. But I, you know, and for others of you, somebody's just very manipulative. They don't take accountability for anything. This, even, this is somebody's mother. 
And for those of you, if like your mother passed and you could be a mother figure yourself and there could be some woundedness coming up around you and your child, especially for those of you who have a, a daughter and don't have their mothers or mother, something could be dealing with an aunt, a grandmother, or whoever took care of you, a babysitter, something. Y'all could be changing babysitters or changing schools for your kids, for those of you that have. Maybe you had to change schools or move around a lot when you were younger. I feel like somebody here doesn't really, there's disorder somewhere, whether it's within somebody's mind, heart, body, or their actual house. Three of swords in reverse, but somebody wants to make something right with you. They want to apologize, but they may like try to do this in a very immature way. Or if this is, and if you're, if this is a man doing this, maybe that would have worked on you in the past because your self-esteem was low and you were out of alignment with yourself. But that's not the case now. So somebody else could be moving on to something else. Somebody could want to be diplomatic now. They want to, you know, just be more. They want to negotiate something with you. Some of you guys may have to negotiate something and work your price, a salary, an increase, a new position, a contract. It could be with a home, a job, whatever. What's not a cup? Yeah, Ten of Cups in Reverse. Some of y'all, for those of you who have kids, Mars and Pisces, this could be a broken family dynamic. You could be seeing, did I say you could be seeing Ten Tens? You could be seeing Ten of Wands. Okay, you could be, okay, Gemini got Triple Tens. So you or somebody can have Gemini in their chart. But this could be somebody that you have a broken family with. Or this could be a family member. For a lot of you guys, this could be a sibling, a parent, a parental figure, a friend who's like family. Somebody who raised you, especially if you didn't have your parents. Or some of y'all kind of had to raise yourselves. You had to grow up fast. And that did something. Oh. So whether you guys lost a parent at a young age or you didn't, or your parents didn't, weren't able to raise you or raise you properly or raise you in a way that you needed, some of y'all had to grow up fast. Therefore, you couldn't really nurture yourselves because you weren't taught how to nurture yourself because you weren't, you didn't, we weren't really given the time and space to be nurtured. When people have to grow up fast, they're not really given the space to be nurtured. They're not, they're not being nurtured. So some of y'all had to grow up really fast. Oh. And, it could, and, and that kept y'all, and that put y'all in a very masculine energy from a very young age. You had to always do, do, do. You wouldn't survive anymore. You had to take care of yourself. Whether you were the oldest or youngest sibling, it didn't really matter. Ten of Cups in the verse. Yeah, Four of Swords. Y'all could be healing from a family dynamic or your, or your upbringing. For those of you that don't have kids or it's not about that, you could be healing from like your upbringing. You're meant to break some generational curse, Aquarius. You're not meant to do, you're meant to break the norm. Some of you guys have outgrown something or someone and something has to, it could be a neighborhood, a person, a place or thing. Something just has to change. Jupiter and Libra here, what's the four swords? Ace of swords here. Some of you guys could be getting dreams and clarity through your sleep, meditation, through writing through speaking, talking things out with people, maybe getting a therapist if you don't have one, or you guys are meant to be therapists or counselors. What's this ace of, especially for those, who you guys can need, somebody here could need a grief counselor. Somebody could be an end of life doula. Okay. Or you could be needing to help people with something or you're getting help with something, okay. Ace of swords. Most therapists have therapists, or they have to undergo a long-term, a long process of therapy before officially becoming therapists themselves. So either way, but Nine of Wands, Moon and Sagittarius. Yeah, some of you guys are wounded and hurt by something. You're realizing how something about your upbringing has still wounded you. You're still wounded by something or someone. Maybe somebody that you have kids with, your mother or father, if they were there or not, or how, if they were there physically, how they raised you or did not, or or something that happened to you. But I feel like there's still some trauma around something. You know, and I love y'all when I say, I say this with the utmost love, Aquarius, right? Because I'm your reader, right? I'm not gonna, you know, I'm here to help y'all. I'm not here to keep y'all in this victim mentality, you know? But I want to say something, right? A lot of y'all could be, um, it gets, it's really easy to constantly point fingers like, oh, I'm this way because of this person. But what happens is when we come, when we come and stay in the place of victimhood, it weakens us. 
and it doesn't allow us to take account to take responsibility. I don't want to take accountability. It, it doesn't allow us to take a, um, responsibility for us to do the inner healing work. And therefore, we bleed on to other people and then say, well, you know, that happened to me because, you know, I did that to them because <laughs> it happened to me. You know, it, even if you don't say it mentally or out loud, subconsciously, that is the reason. So I just know. What's the nine of wands? Yeah, seven of swords in reverse. Somebody could want to turn over a new leaf with you. I feel like somebody hasn't given up on something with you. They don't want to let you go. Maybe you detached. Or yeah, some of y'all have been really cold and aloof with someone. And this could be surprising to them. A lot of y'all are putting your foot down. And you're not. And this person could be bitter about this. Or this could be you. I don't know. I don't know who's watching. But the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy, the king of swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could be a January Capricorn, January Aquarius. This could be Archangel Michael. A lot of y'all could be bringing about some change because you're putting your foot down with something or someone. And you're deciding to what, commit to yourself or commit to something or somewhere else and somebody is bitter about it. Or maybe this, you know, maybe you don't want to do things like this other person or other people, friends, family, parents, whatever, and people feel bitter about it. Well, why don't you be like me? Just do it, you know. Somebody here could be giving bad advice. Moon and Aquarius here with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all could need, this could be self-deception. A lot of y'all could be running away or trying to avoid some type of pain by way of, some of y'all, you think you're detaching, but you're becoming emotionally avoidant for some of you, or you're dealing with somebody that is. Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Somebody could be in and out of your energy a lot. November Sag, November Scorpio. Somebody's really flighty. They don't know how to really settle down and be consistent. You're a queen of pentacles. I saw that. So you want a king of pentacles. You want somebody that's just as solid, loyal, and stable and reliable as you and grounded as you are. Especially if you got other fixed placements or if you got earth in your chart, you need somebody that's grounded. Somebody has a chip on their shoulder. I feel like somebody's arrogance really stems from insecurity. Yours or theirs. Somebody's inner child is wounded. And somebody here is running away. Somebody is trying to avoid or run away from something that's just going to carry with them. Just throughout life until they face it. Uh-uh, baby. Shh, shh, shh. Either this is you or somebody else. Seven of swords in the reverse. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Virgo, Leo here. August Virgo, August Leo. I know you bored, baby. You go back to school tomorrow. I know you bored. You miss your friends? She also had a cold, too. So it was good that they were close today. She had, like, a really, she had bad, a bad fever. Um, like, she was so hot. Her hands were hot. I put an ice pack on her. She done heated that shit up. I was like, oh, my God. But now she's she's fine. <laughs> Um, I was like, Jesus, Woo. she had fevers before, but it wasn't like that. I was like, my God, but she, I, she, you know, I breastfed her for 15 months. She's her immune system is pretty solid. It's pretty good. Her colds are very far in between. Her body fights off stuff like really good. She slept a lot. She didn't really eat too much, but she still has like her energy. She still wants to play and stuff. But anyway, so <laughs> a knight of pentacles. And that's what happens when kids are in daycare. I kept her home for two years. So, you know, and it's this, this change in season. Something could be happening with the change of season. Some, I don't know, some of you guys go through uh, winter, what is it, uh, seasonal depression. So maybe start taking your vitamin D now. But the lovers here in reverse, somebody could have made a, somebody could be in a long relationship. Did somebody made a bad choice when it came to love? They were meant to take the lead on something and they, they took their time. They were moving too slow with you. They were being too methodical and strategic. And I feel like somebody was just really... Something about somebody's... You realize somebody's motives and methods. Somebody was being really methodical, strategic, and you could have caught on to something and maybe you just decided to cut ties. Or somebody's realizing this for somebody else. Knight of Pentacles. Who does Knight of Pentacles? Who's that? 
somebody could want to turn over a new leaf if you do have kids with this person they want to show you that they can be more reliable more dependable you know they can want to give her or provide more for your kids or kid for some of you for those of you that have kids for others of you this could just be people around you who don't really support you but they want to act like they do they want to show you they do because they want to have ties they want to they want to be able to stamp there they want to be able to say i know aquarius Oh, um, this is, uh, you know, they don't want to, they want to still have some type of tie to y'all because y'all are going places in life. You are. Whether you know it or not, whether you think it or not, you are. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the hangman. You're shift something. You've, you've shifted your perspective. A lot of you guys could be taking a break from something, but you're going to finish what you started. Or somebody wants to finish what they started. Somebody could be having a shift in perspective. Pisces energy here with the hangman. What's this Nine of Wands in reverse? Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody here could... September Virgo, September Libra. Somebody's giving somebody bad advice. Somebody is bitter, they're angry, or somebody wanted you to be this way. This could be a manager who don't know what the fuck they're doing or what the fuck they're talking about. This could be somebody's mother, a mother-in-law, or a mother figure in somebody's life or energy. Somebody's really bitter. They give nasty advice. They're they're just a bitter-ass person. And they wanted you, to, they wanted you or somebody to follow in their footsteps. Somebody, some of y'all could have caught on to something that you were being just like your mother or like somebody that you didn't want or you, you were becoming something that you or someone that you didn't want to become by dealing with somebody or by being in a certain environment around certain people or doing certain things. Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody got air and fire in your chart. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the moon here, Cancer, Pisces energy, the, the hero font, Taurus. Somebody doesn't want you to speak up. They want you to be. Somebody doesn't want you to take a leadership role. Maybe it's you guys having a platform, speaking out on your platforms, your social medias, a podcast, or what, writing a book, being a teacher, a leader, a coach. Somebody, or you guys have a fear of doing this. Somebody can have Taurus in their chart, Cancer, or Pisces. But somebody here, there's something, you know, it's also a thing too. Parents don't realize they become, parents become their child's inner voice and inner critic. And you guys, your inner critic could be a mother figure who was very judgmental, overly critical. They put, they pass down some beliefs and things onto you that has nothing to do with you. They're not yours to carry. Y'all have to debunk these and release these and face your fears. Because you're not really, some of y'all are trying to conform to something that's just not for you you're meant to do something you're meant to do something out of the norm or break some type of societal norm or a cultural or generational thing here y'all got to make a big y'all got to make a sacrifice what's this hangman yeah nine of pentacles you're gonna have to separate yourself from certain people places things beliefs fears ideologies that just don't serve you the way you were raised Yeah, they're going to have to kind of make a sacrifice and release something. Somebody who'll be getting a divorce, breaking up, or just separating themselves from a certain environment, certain people. There's a sacrifice that's going to have to be made here, though. Nine of Pentacles. What's this embracing? And you, and yeah, the Nine of Pentacles is freedom. It's self-sufficiency. It's independence. You know how to take care of yourself. Y'all don't have to grow up fast any fucking way. So why not just separate also these concepts that don't belong to you? You were in the, you have to y'all were independent mad fast for some of y'all. You might as well become independent in the way you think and just your beliefs and things too. Why not? What's embracing? It's time to have your own mind. And feel comfortable in it. Yeah, ace of pentacles in reverse. Something is delayed here. It could be a false beginning, a false start with something. Until you separate yourself from certain people, places, and things. There's roadblocks here. And there's a, there's a need to change course with something. Break free from something. Change course. Surrender it. Cut ties. Something. You don't know what it is or who it is. Embracing. Yeah, two of swords. Y'all got to make up your mind. Moon and Libra. There's some indecision around something. You're going to have to face your fears. A lot of y'all not really being authentic. 
And you don't have to let something go. Release a mindset, something. Y'all could be seeing two, two, two. Yeah, big decisions that are needing to be made, Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. You or someone can have cancer in their chart. <clears throat> It's time to get out of this victimhood. Oh, they y'all did that to me. That happened to me. Don't let no. Sometimes people don't become who they're meant to become because of things that happen to them. Yes, go, baby. Shh, 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 shh. Whisper. Mommy's almost finished. Thank you for being so patient. What she saying, baby? She got. She loves to put her. her uh, we. I got her birthday crown. Oh no, that's from her godmother. Got that. But she loves to wear her crown. <laughs> she loves to ask me to put her crown, her, her silver crown. Um, and silver's a good color for Aquarius too. But chariot, you and somebody can have cancer in your chart. With the eyes. You drawing? <laughs> uh, there's something. There's a roadblock here. You could be hitting a wall when it comes to getting something off the ground with your work something that's or materializing something it could be hard again you may have to go in a different direction you may have to separate from certain people places and things some of you guys are meant to give back to your community somebody can have a community garden or is you're meant to do something in your neighborhood or something with your family but there's fear here and this could be your self-concept how you're viewing something how you're talking to yourself what you're thinking it could be negative Oof. or somebody around you is giving negative oh, advice sweaty. Chariot in reverse. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. Something can't go to the next level or get off the ground, Aquarius. True. Well, there's delays. It's airy sun energy. There's some type of delay here. And it's, again, y'all are confused. Some of you guys aren't taking accountability for something. And it could be with this Queen of Cups in reverse and this Ace of Cups. Y'all could be repressing your emotions. It's easier for you guys to just disassociate mentally than it is to, like, face your feelings and just sit in your feelings some y'all need to have a really good cry no baby it's loud be careful okay some of you guys need a really big cry y'all could be seeing three 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 gemini and libra got three 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 y'all need to have a really big cry aquarius three of wands in reverse y'all could be feeling frustrated trapped restricted three of wands in reverse i know you want some attention nova hold on <laughs> Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Some of you guys are you're lacking some type of foresight. There's good. You got good news coming in. But whatever internal conflict, whatever this is, you guys being stuck in your head, self sabotaging way. Some of you guys aren't seeing how you're self sabotaging something, or you have. And it's not to beat yourself up about it, but it's just to simply recognize it. Nine of Swords in reverse, uh, Mars and Gemini. Y'all, I don't know if somebody's haunted by something. You can't see that there's a light at the end of your tunnel because you lacking. There's a lack of foresight. Something could be going on with somebody's car or travels. There could be a delay in travel. Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, something about a connection, possibly two of cups, Venus and Cancer, the Hermit car, Virgo energy. Oh, baby, we have to charge it. This could be somebody who's emotionally unavailable to you. Okay, we're gonna charge it. Hold on, Aquarius. I like you. I like you. I like you. Okay, we have to charge it. Okay. Oh yeah, I like you. I like This could have been somebody who's emotionally unavailable to you. They didn't want to take a risk. They were hesitating or taking their time. Or well, this could have been you. 
Somebody here is really cold, they're aloof, their heart could be closed off. Hold on, no, but don't touch it. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it, baby. You don't have to touch it. Don't touch it. Somebody could have did something really irresponsible, reckless, or this person is reckless because their heart is closed off. Anyway, somebody could have been, somebody here is petrified of connecting. Somebody is, theirs could have been a connection that was emerging. You and this person could both have the same type of trust issues. This could be a friend, a lover, whoever. You and a parent, maybe this parent could have been through some things and they couldn't really connect with you. I don't know, make sure you're not passing this down to your kids or you're not being like this with your child or kids if y'all have them. Hermit here, Virgo, you or somebody can have Virgo in their chart. Somebody's petrified of intimacy and opening their heart to a sword. Yeah, eight of swords in reverse, Jupiter and Gemini. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Somebody here could have missed an opportunity with an inner connection. Venus and uh, Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's not taking accountability for something. Somebody can have Libra or Scorpio in their chart. Or this could be another air sign. Seven, seven of Cups in the verse. Yeah. Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody's inner child needs to be healed, for real. Somebody here could act out. Somebody here can get bored easily. Yeah, nine of cups in reverse, eight of cups. Somebody's not happy somewhere. Maybe somebody thought they got what they wanted. Somebody could have got what they wanted, or they thought they this is they thought something was what they wanted, and <laughs> they're not happy there. <laughs> Some a page of wands in reverse. What's a page of wands in reverse? That's not funny, but yeah, the devil in reverse. I feel like it should be upright. Capricorn energy. Because I feel like somebody is stuck somewhere. Or you guys could be taking your power back from a connection, from a friend or whoever. Parent. What's this? A sibling. Death in reverse. Yeah, high priestess. Cancer Pisces energy. Your intuition could be telling you to do something. I, there's some pessimism here. Some of you guys need to watch out for these pessimistic and these fearful, paranoid thoughts. Y'all could be feeling scatterbrained. I don't know if y'all are overlooking something or someone or somebody overlooked you. High Priestess. Oh, we got to uh, fix the stethoscope. Hold on, Aquarius. There you go. High Priestess. Yeah, judgment in where somebody didn't trust, somebody's not trusting their judgment about who they're connected to, who they're attached to, or who they detach from, or what they need to detach from. Somebody here could have repeated a comic, or you guys got a, thank you, baby. You guys got out of something before you ended up repeating a comic lesson for some of you, or somebody has repeated a comic lesson. Somebody could have did something impulsively. What's this hermit in reverse? Yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person or energy. Somebody could be a Cancer, July, Cancer, July, Leo. This person could want to talk to you. Somebody wants to talk to you, Aquarius, or you want to talk to somebody, or somebody could want, but this person could be blocked or restricted from coming towards you. I don't know if y'all blocked them or you, you, some y'all could have, some of you guys, this person can't contact you. <laughs> King of Wands. Yes, this person is waiting. Seven of Pentacles or you're waiting for somebody to contact or do something. Somebody could be getting frustrated. You and this person, you and somebody are repressing emotions for each other. 
or y'all are both repressing y'all are repressing emotions about something that y'all went through together individually or similar or whatever y'all could be seeing 777 somebody didn't heed the warning signs or the what's the judgment in reverse yeah, Ace of Wands. There's some. There's still. Uh, somebody could be in denial about that. There's still attraction. There's still some type of attraction between you and somebody. I don't know. Somebody needs. To, somebody here could be haunted by the chemist. I don't know. Somebody's just Ace of Wands. The Eight of Cups here. Saturn. Y'all could be seeing AAA. Somebody's not heating. I don't know, somebody's scared of pleasure, intimacy. Yeah, the nine of cups in reverse, the lovers in reverse. There's a lack of trust, a lack of chemistry, a lack of intimacy somewhere. Or somebody is lying to themselves about still feeling this way to you, or this is you. Eight of cups. Yeah, ace of cups. King of pentacles. Yeah, yeah, five of pentacles. I feel like you and somebody are both putting on the front. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries here, April, Aries, April, Taurus, man or woman. Either neither one of y'all taking accountability or somebody is not. Hold on, baby. Oh, she want me to dance. I'll be right back, Aquarius. Hold on. What do you want me to do? Dance. Okay, let me dance for a few minutes. Let me dance for My man's to finish her reading. I'm almost done. Yeah, some y'all somebody could be walking away, going towards something new. I don't know if somebody was waiting for you to come back or they were waiting for something. Somebody couldn't have playing around in your energy and thinking what if you something didn't work out with you and someone else or with something else you were gonna come back. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody, oh, somebody got unfinished business with you, Aquarius. The world in reverse. Oh, oh. Somebody wants to renew something, possibly, or Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's a no. This could be a, somebody that you don't even trust no more. You don't fuck with this person. You don't trust them. Even if you do have some type of love or attraction, you don't trust this person. Gemini energy, you or them can have Gemini in their chart. Nine of Cups, Jupiter and Pisces. Somebody could be seeing nine, nine, nine. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Or a cross watcher. This could be you saying this to, about Aquarius. Absolutely not. No. Somebody here could be, yeah. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? I ain't gonna lie, for some of you guys, somebody here be wanting love, either you or somebody, but then when things start to really get serious or start to get consistent, somebody somebody's afraid of intimacy and pleasure. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody's afraid of commitment too. Mer uh, Virgo energy. Somebody has trust issues, commitment issues. Somebody still has some loose ends to tie up from their past. Somebody's not really over their past. Somebody could be still holding resentment or grudge, or they're still stuck on somebody from their past. Or you're st or this is you or them, or somebody's still stuck on you. Somebody can't move on. Somebody also doesn't really feel whole and complete within themselves. World in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June, Cancer, June, Gemini. <sighs> Yeah, somebody has repressing emotions or this could be a man or a woman. Let's get some uh, oracles. We got magic. So somebody could have been, there could have been magic involved, spell work. Somebody could have been keeping somebody in a non-committal energy. Maybe they couldn't see it, but you can. Yeah, we got compassion. Somebody here could be lacking compassion, lacking humility. Yeah, balance. Some of y'all could be trying to find a balance of having, because you guys do rule humility and humanity. So y'all could be trying to find a balance between having that for people, but also not letting nobody fuck with you or play with you. So that could be... Um, what else? 
Yeah, yeah, teach. A lot of y'all probably y'all are meant to be like teachers, or somebody was, or you were meant to teach somebody something, or learn something from someone, or vice versa. I feel like somebody's gonna have to, somebody here failed their test. Yeah, we got freedom. Freedom came up here twice, Aquarius. Y'all need to free yourselves from something or cross watcher. Emer emerging, embracing Aquarius. I don't know what something. Uh, yeah, communication, confidence. What else? We got healing. Yes. Somebody could be having a hard time healing. Somebody's not really doing the inner work. Or they're not doing it the right way. Flourish. Yeah. And we got create. And we have wisdom. Yeah, detachment in the reverse. The beginning. Intuition. Inner power. New path emerging. Yeah, emerging is here again. What's flourish? We got release and reconnect with spirit. And live from your heart. Yeah, a lot of y'all, your heart is blocked. There's resistance. And this could be about your connections. Something. Even if it's about business, you got to connect with people. You got to be, somebody has a hard time with transparency. And if you're not happy with yourself, it's going to be, it's going to be hard to connect with anybody else or to work or be around anybody else. Somebody here could be too set in their ways. Somebody doesn't even keep, somebody could have a heart. Somebody needs to learn how to um, keep commitments to themselves before they try to keep them with other people. Maybe they nobody ever taught somebody how to do that because they never saw it. Somebody never saw somebody keep their, somebody could have had a parent who didn't keep their word. So they became a person that didn't keep their word or don't keep commitments to themselves. And therefore they can't really have sustainable and mutually satisfying relationships that are built on trust. Something could just, could have just been built on lust, codependency, materialism, things like that. A lot of y'all could also be being perfectionist. You think you don't have to be perfect to be loved. You just have to be honest and authentic with yourself and your partner. And the right person will see you. The right person will love you. The right person will pour into you as much as you can pour into yourself. But they cannot do everything all for you and vice versa. You can't do all for them. Because somebody here could, have to, could need to work on never feeling satisfied. Somebody's just overly critical of people, things. This could be y'all. Especially if somebody got a Virgo on their chart. Or you could be dealing with somebody that does. This could be, I don't know, somebody has a Virgo parent. Or, this, or a parent. Or somebody acts like the shadow side of Virgo that nitpicks everything when it's there. And somebody, see the, the, the shadow side of Virgos. They project their insecurities onto other. They, they they project their insecurities and shortcomings onto other people instead of doing it intuitively on themselves. So this could be you. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody that got Virgo in their chart, or you can have Virgo in yours. But some of you guys may need. There's something or somebody that you need to release so you can reconnect with Source and get back on track. This was your reading. Some of y'all could have gotten off track for a little bit. This was your reading, Aquarius, and let your don't have a good cry. Hi. Have a good cry. Disassociating mentally is not detaching and moving on from something. Because you're going to run into it with a, new, with a different person in a different body. And you're going to have to face those same feelings. You're going to have to face those same feelings somewhere. So this is your reading, Aquarius. Shh, shh, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You say bye. Bye. <laughs> say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Yes. <laughs>